Hiroshima. Israel. <laughs> there we are. We have the uh, in-flight entertainment for you, uh, Mr. Yol Gilman. Maksha. Uh, all right. Welcome again, sir. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Now, if you don't know how to use a seatbelt, you take this tag, put it in here, use these straps to tighten them up. Easy. Uh, if we, uh, you know, well, not even that. There's two exits right here. The place you came in over the wing. Let's say we have to land uh, for some reason and uh, the engine is still running. Uh, please exit away from the prop this way. And uh, also, if we get one of the doors jammed, we can use this hammer right here. Tap it around the edge. Pop it out. Exit that way. Uh, if we have to have to use this cap system right here, there'll be leads around since there's a parachute deployed. Uh, just don't get yourself tangled up in those. Watch out. Use your brain, your eyes, your feet. I could guarantee my eyes and my feet. I don't know about the brain <laughs> part. There you go. Um, uh, there's no smoking or drinking. I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, if you start to feel sick, uh, you know, focus out in the distance, you know. Try and take deep breaths. If that doesn't work, get some fresh air from the AC. Open it up like this. Turn it counterclockwise. Open it up. And uh, or to operate the AC in the first place, that's highest speed right there. That's coldest. And so, well, that's coldest. It's coldest on the ground. That's coldest in the air. And, uh, yeah, so use that. Make yourself feel nice and cozy. And, uh, yeah, but if you're not feeling good after all that, then uh, tell me and we'll land the plane. Uh, keep your eyes open. Look for traffic. If you see anything uh, anything at all, please let me know. Uh, and, uh, you know, work together and uh, we'll avoid, avoid conflict. Beautiful, you know? beautiful. And uh, finally, let's say uh, I, come, I become unresponsive, anything like that, press the straight and level flight button. Will you tell your DP on the check that you guys will work together and you'll avoid conflict? Sure. Torrance <laughs> <laughs> Ground, Sling 165, Tango Whiskey. On Echo, looking at I'm just doing my script. Well, you don't think they like that? <laughs> uh, we won't fight, DP. We won't fight. <laughs> Not unless you, pa if you, if you, only if you don't pass me. Oh, boy. Then we might fight. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um... And, uh, yeah, press the straight level flight button. And uh, do your best to wake me up if I'm not coming around. This button right here, PTT, means push to talk. You hold that down and uh, talk, ask, you know, say, say what's going on, and somebody will help you. Easy. you have any questions, sir? Uh, only question is, did we talk about the fire and the fire extinguisher? I keep on forgetting that. So uh, if there's a fire, we have a fire percentage right here. And uh, aim it at the base of the fire in order to extinguish it as fast as possible. Cool. There you go. Solid. All right. I will now start the plane. Let's do it. I will start the plane. Stroke. Here. Look at the checklist. Brakes. That's before takeoff. Brakes. Bat. Stroke. Full ridge. Boop. Full forward. Beep. Prime the boost. Boost and take this back quarter inch. Start it. Clear prop. Close the door and start the engine. Beautiful. Okay. Got the engine on. Turn the alternators on. Look at that. Look at us charging. Solid. About 29. Seems to be correct. Thank you for the air conditioner. Looks fine. There you go. You see? So we're starting from zero. Used. Yep. So every waypoint we'll go to, we will see and go, oh, it should say three. Right. So 
that's 2.6. We're 0.4 ahead of the game. Got it. Got it. Good work. And uh, 120.9 is ground, 125.6 is ACE. Good work. Zulu wind at 250 at 12. Visibility 10. View clouds 10,000, view clouds 15,000. Temperature 28, dew point 1 niner, altimeter 2 niner, 8. That sound, do you hear that sound? Trolley 2 niner right, approach and use, landing and departing runway is 2 niner. Yes. Do you hear that? Yeah, what is Use caution for bird activity honoring the vicinity of the airport. Oh. Hazardous weather information for California and coastal waters available on flight service frequencies. Uh, All aircraft, read back hold short instructions. And do you hear that sound? Yeah, that doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound normal. No. Turn this off. It's that. Yeah. There's something going on with the AC. I will keep it on too. Okay. Cool. All right. So what did we just learn? We learned that when something it doesn't we sound right, we yeah. don't only fly with our eyes. Yeah. We fly with our brain. Everything with our ears. Right. It, something didn't sound right. We didn't know what it was, and we troubleshoot it. Yeah. I tried the fuel pump. I tried this. Yeah. I tried that. Eventually, we tried that. Yep. Makes sense? Yep. Good work. That's how you fly a plane. All right. You hear something not right, troubleshoot. Troubleshoot. Good. Solid work. Good yeah, it's the fan. Something with the fan. Yeah. Yeah. Why am I not getting this anymore? Oh, because I... Turns up our information, Foxtrot time, 0047 Zulu, wind 250 at 12, gust 17. Visibility 10, view clouds 10,000, view clouds 15,000. Temperature 28, dew point 19, altimeter 29, 88. ILS runway 29 right, approaching use, landing and departing runway is 29. Towards our frequency 133.07, use caution for bird activity honoring the vicinity of the airport. Hazardous weather information for California and coastal waters available on flight service frequencies. All aircraft, read back, hold short instructions and your runway assignment with your call sign. Notice airmen, runway 29 or left, vastly out of service, 5G NOTAMs in effect. Multiple cranes in the vicinity of Torrance Airport, check NOTAMs for more information and advise on initial contact. You have information, Foxtrot. Torrance Airport information, Foxtrot time, 0047 Zulu, wind 250 at 12, gust 17. Visibility 10, view clouds 10,000, view clouds 15,000. Temperature 28, dew point 19, altimeter 29, 88. ILS runway 29 right, approaching use, landing and departing runway is 29. Towards our frequency 1. Okay. Oh, got some bit in my eyes. Alrighty. Ground Sirius Niner six six Tango Tango East T's radio taxi with Foxtrot. Number nine or six six Tango Tango Torrance Tower, safe position. Uh, East T's uh, nine or six six Tango Tango. Nine or six six Tango Tango Torrance Tower, right, two nine right, taxi with Juliet. Two nine right via Juliet nine or six six Tango Tango. If we're going, we're going up when we usually come back, kind of. At least when the sun's in the... Uh, ish, yeah. A little bit. It should be a quick hop. It's a quick hop. So today's flight, we're just going up. We'll be up for about 30 minutes. Okay. And all I want to do is fly the first few waypoints of the nav log. Okay. And I want your eyes to look at the clock and to yep. look at that. Should I be uh, starting the clock now? No, when we take off. So when we take off, okay. Uh-huh. So I just added, the, added that taxi fuel for... Correct, okay. because this starts when you start the engine. Got it. We don't have a way to start the gallons used. Right. You could reset, but right there it starts for you automatically. Right, right. Good work. So essentially if we take off and it shows 1.2, we're ahead of the game by 0.3. Does that make sense? Got it. Cool. Good work. Meow.
meow is what the cat says. <laughs> woof, woof is what the dog does. <laughs> I just wrote that. Whoa, you're a genius. <laughs> That's pretty good. Dang. <laughs> huh. Oh, boy. Run up. Let's get it just a little bit closer to 1,000. Okay. Doors. Cat's been removed. Secure the seatbelts, fuel, full tank. Make sure full rich, well, make sure as required, uh, fuel pump is on. Uh, flaps, 50. We're going. Nine work. Good to go. Uh, autopilot, S check. We're in. Orange ground, fling, 328, echo is clear from Lake Canada, left of taxi to EC, please. Okay. And autopilot. We can fight it. And navigation radio's GPS. Let's just uh let's do a little situational awareness stuff. We won't load anything into there because remember all we're doing is returning to the compass heading. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Correct. Then. Okay. I was just gonna do it because I don't know, I'm used to it. Yep. Um got it. We won't do that. We won't do it. And remember, we first start out with dead reckoning, turning to the heading. Right. Once we see the place we're going to out the window, we yep. transition from dead reckoning to? To pilotage. Good. Right? Yep. No form of navigation beats pilotage. That's right. Pilotage is I see where I'm going to and I'm moving my body towards right. it. Right. So we start out dead reckoning, meaning we fly in the heading that you calculated. Right. Once you see the point out the window, you throw this to the garbage yep. and you move your body towards the point. Does that Got make it. sense? Yep. Cool. Yep. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Anyhow. Uh, da -da -da -da. Hold the brakes and get up to engine power. Go to engine. bit high. Okay. okay. Looks good. 17, and go. What's the max drop you can have? Drop, well, a drop of 150 is the max drop. And between the two? 75. Cool. That was a drop of 60. Drop of 50. Looks good. Come back in. Pedo heat is off. And go and bring it back to 1,000. Okay, looks good. Everything's in the green. Chilling like a villain. Boom. And, uh, good. And switch to map. Anytime you go to map, it's a good habit to hit the traffic. Right. Good. Get that in. They go hand in hand. Limited. And that's good. And I guess we'll could do it there, but. That will be fine. Check flight controls. Left. Looking at it in. Looking at it up. Back. Here. And rudders. Looking good. Looking good. Perfection. Do you know how to work this? 
So start. Stop on top. Yep. And then reset, reset. is there. We don't need a reset. It's just, just hit it when we take it off. And yep. that's it. Easy? Sounds good. Cool. And right. then would it be like after I'm climbing, or so it's as the climb starts, like as soon as we take off? Oh, no, no, when you take the run, we just hit it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Let's check that out. Because you added up on the nav log yeah. what that should say at each way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sierra sure. number okay. two, following a sling about a mile ahead of you, runway 29 are right, cleared, uh, touch and go, wind 270 at 10. Got a touch and go coming on in. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, all right, I'm going to pilot disconnected, we've already been disconnected, so we're take off with the trim, and we're good to go. Good. We'll do the flight, pre-flight briefing, pre-takeoff, whatever it is. Takeoff briefing. Takeoff briefing. All right, we do any special takeoffs today? Uh, whatever you want. All we'll, right. we'll do from here to check, right, we'll do soft to short, your your choices, whatever we'll you We'll do think a soft, I think I'm... Decent at shorts. Shorts are solid, yeah. Uh, we'll do a soft, so we'll be conducting a soft field takeoff from one ray, runway 29 or right. The windsock is limp, but it's in this direction, so uh -huh. we're favoring it. Good. Um, and, uh, yeah, if at any time before rotation, as we're taking off, experiencing uh, any issues, Romeo, number uh, three. we will get clear of the runway and uh, contact tower, let them know what's up. And, uh, if at any time uh, during the takeoff after rotation um, we experience any issues that don't involve the engine, we will conduct a normal pattern and land normally. Um, if at any time uh, after rotation on the takeoff we experience something that does involve the engine, uh, we will position ourselves for best glide um, and will not attempt to turn back to the airport unless, let's say, maybe the engine isn't quite 100% dead. Maybe we can do a turnaround. Uh, but most likely we will just try our best to to find a nice safe place to land um, and uh, try and figure out something good. And uh, yeah, there's caps aboard. So below 600 feet, we won't touch it. In between 600 and 2,000, we'll pull caps immediately if there's anything involved with the engine. Above 2,000, we'll be high enough to figure something out and uh, and land safely. Uh, if we can't figure something out, we start to drop back below 2,000, we'll pull caps. Cool. There we go. Off we go. Easy. <coughs> All right. And then, um, so, right down when departure, I kind of drew the line from here, so I imagine we'll just start going from here. Yeah, so midfield downwind. Midfield you downwind. could just turn to... Six, seven. That's it. Okay. Okay. You can have a set hit zero, it, six, hit down. Six, seven. Five, one, six, this is the uh, departed Compton Airport. We're entering the storm. Bop, bop, bop. There you go. Uh, with information from Foxtrot. Saying uh, 5167, Lawrence Tower, cross midfield, at above 1,600, make left traffic, runway 29 or left. Cross midfield, at or above 1,600, and join uh, left traffic for 29 or left, uh, 5161, we're golf. Playing uh, 5 Tango Whiskey Traps, going to one mile final, set uh, for the north runway, runway 29 or left, clear touch and go. 29 or left, clear touch and go, looking for traffic, 5 Tango Whiskey. Thorns Tower, Sirius 9 or 6, 6 Tango Tango, holding shoulder runway 2 9 or right, requesting right down with departure. There's uh, 9 or 6, 6 Tango Tango, Thorns Tower, Roger, standby. Good work! Colton, I'm proud of you, man. I'm looking at you doing your thing, and you know, I'm reminded by your first few times in this airplane. It's like you know exactly what's going on. You know who to contact, you know what to ask for. Incredible. Three, Sierra Leone. Good work. Here we go, man. Final, good work. Here we go, man. Good work. Here we go, man. Good stuff. By the way, these avionics things, they look, you know, just whatever. These things go deep. Oh, yeah, yeah. In there you go all it's the way crazy. Down. Yeah. yeah. You uh, think this exactly. is just a small little tiny yeah, thing? Big. It goes way deep in there. Probably super heavy, too. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, these things weigh. Yeah. If you take this out, you're just the weight balance. That's right. Yeah. That's right. 
Absolutely. CG. Uh huh. So when your dad updates the avionics, yeah. They reweigh the airplane. Yeah. Absolutely. The whole thing changes. That's why the basic M2 weight is made up of what? Unusable fuel, full oil, and optional equipment. Yep. Optional equipment means equipment. Delta, zero Delta, Sierra, extend, All these things. Base. That's right. Good work. Extend downwind, uh, 760 Delta, Sierra. Slang at 3 Sierra Lima base approved. Runway 29 our right, clear, touch and go. 29 right, clear, touch and go. 3 Sierra Lima. Sierra 6 Tango Tango, traffic on the upwinds in right, close traffic. Right down with departure approved. Runway 29 our right, clear for takeoff. 29 our right, clear for takeoff. 9 6 6 Tango Tango. Let's get it on. Let's hit the uh, timer. Tesla 65710, Torrance Tower Transition, Good Adderbrook work. 2000 approved, Torrance South Limiter 29087. 29087, at above 2710, climbing now. Zero Del Sierra traffic off second. to your right is a sling. Follow them. Number two, runway two nine our right, clear, touch and go. Number two, uh, two nine our right, touch and go. Seven six zero Del Sierra. More forward, more forward, more forward. You want to stay right over the pavement, yeah. longer. Sling, uh, two you Sierra allowed it to go a little two, too far. We'll work, work on that. Turning you remember to get on the base, step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, good, clear good. Uh, to land. Wind two five zero at one zero. Now, was, is this the time to deal with your headset? No. Good, 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 good learning. Good stuff. Good. Good. We could start turning right for a noise abatement. I got the traffic in sight. That's not yeah, that's Romeo. Yeah. Extend downwind traffic to look for is a sling on a four mile final, 1,600 indicated report traffic in sight. We'll look for traffic. Uh, you got a fling on a four-mile Yeah, yeah, yeah. no factor. We'll report in sight. Nine eight Romeo, extended. No factor. A little more right rudder. See how we're kind of doing that? Yeah. Yeah. You want to keep that nose good. Yeah, six normal golf. Make left Move traffic. Move the nose into the turn. Left, clear to land. Everybody on Roger final. that. Put it north runway. Good work. Uh, make left traffic for two nine or left. Uh, six and pretty much from this point, you could go ahead and uh, turn to your Green, compass two, heading. Six, zero, yep. one, four. What's the heading we said? Zero six seven. Let's do it. Now we're going up to three five. As soon as you can spot your next waypoint, which in our case that straight, yes, it's top of climb, but the straight line is also Fullerton. Right. So. So seven one zero traffic twelve o'clock about a mile northbound two thousand indicated Sears. Looking for traffic seven one zero. So reaching top of climb, your timer should say what? Two six tango tango frequency change proof. Thank you. Good night. Nine six six tango tango. Tesla so seven one zero. That traffic said to your left northeast bound. No factor. Frequency change approved. Frequency change approved. Thank you so much. Uh, it should you, say. Uh, Sling uh, five tango whiskey uh, number three two. Minutes. Following company. Uh, that's gas. Five minutes. Wind, about turn base. Good. And fuel uh, should say what? Three gallons. Clear. Touch and cool. go. Wind two seven zero. What does our timer say now? Number two, clear touch and go. Two nine or left. Minute, or sorry, five tango whiskey. Just about three minutes. Good. We are. We have 504 more feet to go. So we're about. Do you think we'll be ahead or behind the game? Behind. We'll be behind. Oh no, it's five minutes. Base, so clear touch and go. Number three. We'll be ahead. Nine right. Nine eight Romeo. Good. Plus two minutes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. So I want I want to, I want you to talk this to me. Okay. On the next few waypoints. Got it. Not on the, the heading. Good, there we go. Here. Sling uh, 5 Tango Whiskey, uh, additional traffic over Tosco Refinery on right base. Cessna is for the north runway cool. 1300 the indicated. Uh, fuel. Looking for traffic, 5 Tango Whiskey. Uh, use 2.4. Cessna so Romeo traffic, uh, to your left on downward about turn base for the south runway. Sling 1100 indicated. Good learning. Let's go ahead and do autopilot because I'm more concerned with you learning these things. So you can press heading straight away, remember? Yep. And then altitude or VS and altitude. So it goes to 30, set 35 on the window. Yep. 
You have 3620. There you go. Good. Solid. Okay. Good, because I want to so, make sure that you're focused on this. That's right. So we are plus 1.5, plus 0.6. Good. Solid. Now reaching full attention. What's your next waypoint? Next waypoint uh, is going Benny to Romy be. Roger. This traffic. is top of climb. This is Romy Roger. Thank you. It's what? Top of climb. But no. Next waypoint is. Top of climb is. We already reached it. We're 3,500 feet. Okay. So next waypoint is forward. Good. And what should our timer stay there? 11 minutes. 11 and a half minutes. Cool. And uh, fuel. Uh, it should be 4.2. Cool. Clear touch and go. Number two, three, three, eleven. Does this make sense? Yeah. Solid. And now uh, we are still 0.67. Interesting. Good. Quite so I want you to teach all these things to me in the next few waypoints. Okay. And uh, convince me that you know what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> Make me buy it. Sell it to me. Alrighty. And remember, what's our goal? To look and find the place we're going to visually, That's right. That's right? We have no choice but to trust our heading right now. Let's see if we can see Fullerton. If you care, I can see it perfectly clear and fine. I do care. Uh, I can't see it perfectly clear and fine, so I won't say I can. Cool. If I understand the general direction is over there. I can see it perfectly clear and fine, so I want you to try and find it. And looking at the winds, would it make sense that we're drifting to the right or left of course? To the right. Cool. So Fullerton should be ahead or to the left? It should be uh, to the left. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. Because in the perfect world, it would be straight ahead. Yeah. Because it was a straight line from Torrance. Yeah. But if we're drifting to the right, Fullerton relative to us should be falling more and more to the left. That's right. Therefore, we won't look there. We'll look a little bit to the left. There. Right. Could you see Fullerton? Uh, yes, I see right there. You see it? Yeah, it should be straight Is ahead. Is it straight ahead? Well, it's to the left a little bit. Are it's you right looking there. at what I'm looking at? Oh, uh, now I am. <laughs> you see it? Yeah, that. Good. So what could we do with the heading button? Change it. Good. Like Move that. us towards it. Does that make sense? Yep. And now, my friend, you just successfully transitioned from what to what? From dead reckoning to pilotage. Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense. It makes a whole bunch. It makes the sense, y'all. Good. And we need a lot more left. Yeah. Yeah, give me about a 0 0.45. Remember, we got 20 knots off the left. That's right. Good. So now, yeah, now we're drifting with it. It's we all good. It. I don't care what direction we're pointing in as long as our body is moving towards Fullerton. That's right. I don't care if we're moving this way. That's right. Perfect. Good, 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 good. That's what we call wind correction angle. That's right. And this, what, this is why you can't be piloting. It right. accounts for any wind. Exactly. You could have 300 knots of wind right now. Right. I could move my body <laughs> towards it. Uh-huh. <laughs> at some point, the whole plane will probably move. <laughs> It'll be pointing the plane into the wind. Yeah. He won't be able to help it. Yep. So let's move our body towards full tank. See it? Yep. Good. And you keep steering to keep moving the body towards it. Yep. I would go a little more to the right, see where Okay. Kind of Good. And we're experimenting. That's all we're doing. Yep. Practicing. Exactly. Just like doctors. That's right. That's it. So teach me what our timer and fuel should say when we reach it. All right. So we should. It says 11.5. We're about to hit eight minutes. Cool. So we could be three above. Are we going to Fullerton or a little to the left of it? I want you to be precise. Okay. Go smack on Fullerton. Smack above the runway. Good. Uh huh. That's how we planned. Okay. Cool. So our timer should say what above it? Uh, 11 and a half minutes, but it's going to say looking like probably nine minutes. Okay, cool. And the fuel should say what? The fuel should say 4.2. And let's lean the mixture, by the way. Oh, yeah. And, and turn the boost on. Uh huh. EGT. Good. Good. And let's go way more, a little more to the right. See, kind of we're to the left of it? Yeah. Good. And if you're a little to the right of it, you'll be clearly able to see the runway off your left. Right. So that's how you know you're right above it. Because from this point on, you can't really see it in front of us. Yeah, I can see it. Perfect. Good. I'll just do this over here. Okay. Just to get off that frequency. Good. 
So you see how we're thinking ahead? Right yep. We know exactly what our timer should show. We know what the fuel should show. And we know whether or not we're ahead or behind our planning. Right. And if you did this across the country, guess what? You'd be you could always know, am I ahead or behind? Am I have the wind shifted substantially to the point where my planning now right. isn't necessarily confirming that I'll make it with fuel. Right. Right? Um, many things would happen. Winds could change. Uh, my plane's burning more fuel than I thought. Whatever it might be, yep. this is a way for me to confirm that. So, are we over the airport? No. Cool. When we are, I want to see you write down how uh, how much ahead we are in terms of time and yep. fuel. Number four, Tango Alpha, turn left on eight and I can't really see it. Tango Alpha, left on eight. All right, we're above the airport. Cool. And that's uh. 10 minutes, so we're still plus 1.5, and fuel 3.9, so we're plus 0 0.03. Good work. Now we need to steer to what heading? Now we need to steer to uh, 077. Cool. We don't have an option. Could we see our next waypoint? Uh, no. What is our next waypoint? Our, our next, next straight line waypoint. Our next straight line waypoint is... Uh, Pretty much to the left of that ridge, right? Right. So and we can see it. Okay, that's true. We that's can true. move our body. Somebody's not thinking of KJ. And what do we need to do here? Now we need to start climbing. Cool. Uh, which full I power, because we're, we're on autopilot. Make sure full ridge. Uh huh. Boost on. Uh huh. Full power. Good. And then he could add the increase the altitude to seven thousand five. Uh huh. Good. And then we could do uh, IAS. That's it. And now the plane will pitch to maintain 101 on the speed right. and translate all of that excess energy to a rate of climb. Sounds good. Make sense? Yes. That's it. Translate. So w when we reach 7.5, our timer should say what? Our timer should say 14.5. And our fuel should say? It should have burned uh, 5.8 gallons. Cool. Is this making sense? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Easy. Yeah. Easy. You see how all the work is on the ground? Yep. In the air, you're brain dead. Right. All I'm looking is confirming. Yep. Right? We're not thinking. We're not calculating. We're just confirming this against that. Yep. Make sense? Yep. That's it. Easy peasy. This is what nav logs look like. I want to see what we are when we get, uh, what things look like when we get to top of climb. Yep. And at that point, I'll have you divert. Okay. Because I see that you get the idea of it. And we can uh, switch fuel tanks. Boost. Fuel tank. Such. And you said it should say what, top of climb? It should say 14.5. Cool. Looks pretty much close. Yep. We're in the ballpark. Good planning. Yep. Good work. Thank you, sir. Solid. And the fuel should say? And the fuel should say 5.8. See how this works? Yeah. Simple. 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 And you see why I told you to write these down this way? Yeah. It keeps, you don't have to reset yeah, anything. To, you, you, just, reset you just look at them. You just look at them. Think about numbers. Uh-huh. You do all the thinking on the ground. Let's get some right rudder in there with your... There we go. Every time we climb... Remember, any time there's pitch attitude and power, we need right rudder. We right. have a lot of both right now. Right. Good work. And we're a bit right of the... Good. Waypoint, so we'll go a bit keep left. Keep moving. Okay. Exactly. Good work. Dead record. Uh, pilotage. Nothing beats pilotage. Solid work, 1,800 feet to go. Looks like we're pretty darn close to it. We might even fall a few seconds behind. Yeah, I think now I'm predicting that uh, we're getting into the range of being at 65% power. There you go. So we have a reasoning. There you go. Uh, oh, right, because he calculated on 65. I, calculated I think we were doing 50% there. Yeah. Okay, good. There you go. Is there a... Did you see the ability in the POH to uh, plan according to like 50% power or was 65 the lowest? Uh, yeah, I was just thinking of 65 because that's what... Totally, but I'm saying if there's a way yeah. to do it less... Absolutely. Do a plan according to what you actually fly. Absolutely, absolutely. And then it'll be more real world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm still doing this interesting power phone. The what? This uh, where it's oh, not, thing, not yeah. showing the correct power setting. Yeah. We got this guy 2,000 feet below us. Wind 250. Good, a thousand feet to go, and it should say what would reach at 14 and a half? Uh, yep, 14 and a half minutes. And the fuel? And the fuel should be 5.8.
Okay, good. So we'll be slightly behind on both, which is yeah. good. I want to see what that looks like. Okay. And I want to figure out how much behind okay. are we. Okay. Good. Look how beautiful that is, that mount. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. The heck? Oh, okay. What? This uh, thing fell off the window, but no big deal. Oh, got it. Fantastic. No a big deal. Uh, Absolutely. It's fantastic. Beautiful. Good. 400 feet to go. We're starting to be behind already here. Yeah. And we are at 5.8. So yep. I want you to tell me how much behind are we both yep. in terms of both fuel and, and time. time. Exactly. <coughs> beep, beep, beep. All right. Almost at the top of climb two. Uh, no, and it's going to blow through it again. Yeah, because it's that it's thing. Yeah, the altitude. Just hit the altitude. Okay. Oh, that's fine. That's good right there. Okay. okay. Good catch. Anyways, we're bring this back. Yeah, pull it back. Good. Good. So how much behind are we? We're behind now, uh, let's say 17 seconds, but... Uh, 17 seconds? I thought I should say 14 and a half. So oh, yeah, about so it's a about a half minute. So about half a minute. Uh, it's 50 seconds. Well, wait, so we were, we were at top of climb. Oh, I got you. Good, good. So, you're going so we went through. Half a minute. And then uh, 6.1, so 0.3. 6.3. So good. Does this make sense? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. this back yeah, a little yeah. bit. Pretty straightforward. Yep. No hesitation or questions. You get the whole dead reckoning pilotage. Yep. You get the whole are we ahead or behind. Yep. You know what to look at. Yep. Simple. Simple. That's it. All you need to do is hit this when you take the runway. That's right. Easy. Yep. Good work. Give me a high five. Solid job. Solid, solid, solid work, my friend. Solid you potatoes. You fully, fully understand nav logs. There we go. I, Colton, would like you, using all the resources you have available to you, yes. to divert to torrents. Divert to torrents. <laughs> all right. We can do that. Uh, here we go. Let's divert to torrents. Let's see. I'm going to just engage. Slow down. Do whatever you need to do. I know you can get us there. Slow down a decent bit. Let's put this on uh, 4,500. Well, I'm not going there yet, but we'll be turning around. Why are we turning to the right? I'm uh, turning to the left. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. sorry, why are we turning to the left? Because uh, I was turning around. I, I don't know. Is there airspace there as we descend that we might enter into? That's uh, K Joe. What's this purple? That's uh, the the uh, echo, to, uh, echo airspace for... Is that echo? The purple is Charlie. I don't know, you tell me. It is Charlie. Might that be a factor? It might be. All right. Were you thinking about that? Yes. I don't know. We will make a right. Do whatever you want. I just want to make sure you're aware of stuff. Yep. Cool. Do you know what that airspace goes up to? Uh, no. Cool. So these also might be good stuff. Worried to about these clouds a little bit. You're good with the clouds. We're way above them. Okay. Um, it doesn't really count even as clouds. It's like, yeah. Uh, would it be a good idea at this point, yeah. flying VFR, to check and see what altitude yes. both John Wayne and Ontario Class Charlie airspace go up to? Yes. Good. Yes, indeed. Because it may not be, not be a factor. It right. may be a factor. I don't know. Right. Good work. Doing my best to avoid it, but... You never know. You never know. And here we go. Coming back around. John Wayne. Yes. Not John Wayne. Where am I? Tell me what John Wayne's Charlie goes up to. 
up to uh, 4,400. Tell me what Ontario's Charlie goes up to. Up to 5,000. Good. Easy? Yeah. Good. Now we know. And we're good for those. Good work. Um, I'm just going to go back over Fullerton. Good. What could we do here? Maybe Can, direct uh, to what? Direct to uh, Fullerton KTOA. or KTOA. Just you could do direct KTOA and then get there while avoiding airspace. Yep. Do your thing. At least this will give you distance and time information, right? Right. Good. Solid. Because that's part of a diversion. I want you to figure out how long is it going to take us. Right. How far away are we? Oh, it won't. So do that. Highlight. Direct and uh, highlight torrents. Direct enter enter. Highlight. Highlight torrents. Direct enter enter. That's it. Okay. For How many factor. miles out are we? We are uh, 32.1 miles. Cool. How long will it take us to get there? 12 minutes. Easy? Yep. Good. What else can we get moving on as we make our way? ATIS, uh, frequencies, whatever yep. it might be. Good the ATIS. Work. I want you to stay on it just yep. like I'm on it. Yep. 5 you know, Mr. Nefax, multiple cranes in the vicinity of Torrance run with 29 left fast. He's out of service. Torrance air frequency 133.07. Use caution bird activity on the city airport. Has this weather base for California coastal wise available flight service frequencies. Read that call, runway silence, hold certain instructions for the call sign. Advise on contact, you have golf. Golf. Torrance airport elevation golf time 0147 Zulu, wind 27011, visibility 10, sea clouds at 15,000, temperature 24, dew point 18, altimeter 2987. Hi, let's approach runway 29 right, then you signing into parking runway 29. Those air missions. Air missions. Air missions. In effect. Good work. Let's fly the airplane. Good work. There is a TFR that's active. No, it's a different one right next oh, to it. Um, and it's at or above, not the 3,000 feet. And so we want to stay clear of that. Okay. So that's like right here? Yep. So you Let's want to go. stay clear of that. Just go fly right towards the uh, forward. Uh-huh. Okay. Good work. Absolutely solid. How much fuel are you going to arrive with there? Uh, 20 gallons. Good. Solid work. Fantastic. What's your VFR day fuel reserve? One hour for me and 30 minutes for the, the law. Cool. And at night? 45, 45 minutes. Good, Good work. Short solid. Holding short, center right for right close traffic. Good work. What are the three different types of night, do you know? Uh, we have um, sunset, sunrise. We have uh, after night civil twilight and uh, before day civil twilight. End of civil or, twilight so to the beginning, beginning of the civil twilight. End of civil, the beginning of civil, one hour after sunset to one hour before up, sunset. Right, close do you know their purposes? Uh, sunset is... Uh, is when uh, right, you must down. activate your lights. Which lights? Your uh, landing lights and position lights. Is your landing light required? Anti-collision lights? Um, no, but Good. it's, but it's uh, definitely not fun Could to I have do them on during the day and off at night if I wanted to? Um, yes. Yeah. So they have nothing to do with the night types. So which types of lights are required for Anti sunset to Anti-collision lights. Good, the nav lights. Yeah. Good work. Okay. And then... Um, by the way, landing light is only required for hire. So oh, really? if you're a type of plane that's required to perform a 100-hour inspection, okay, you that must also have. means you need a landing light. Gotcha. Perfect. Good work. Um, what else? Uh, so end of civil. End of civil. Beginning of civil, uh, you can log night hours. Nighttime? Good. Nighttime solid. Nighttime hours. And uh, one hour before and one after. Or one, one hour after, after to one, one hour before, before uh, is when you can log your nighttime landings and takeoffs for 
uh, currency and carrying passengers. Solid work. Good job. There we go. Good work. Good work. Look at that sun. Look at it. Unbelievable. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, 236, we are in altitude reporting mode and getting reply lights so we can recycle. Altitude reporting mode? Huh, what is that? Look at that. They're reporting uh, their altitude? Right, they see <laughs> altitude on the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. transponder? Yeah. So if I put it to off, ATC would be able to see. Gotcha. Yeah, so he said altitude reporting mode is that he's letting him know, hey, we're in altitude reporting mode, so you should be able to see us. Yeah. Unless it's broken or something. Right. Solid work. Good. We could do direct, enter, enter, and yep. I'll keep that needle centered. Okay. Show me a centered needle. A centered noodle. A centered noodle. Good work. Absolutely solid. Great diversion. Only thing I would say is, for whatever reason, you kept flying away from Torrance for about another minute. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you had a reason or not. I just wasn't, I mean, it's the first time I've ever made a, like a 180 flight. Uh, totally. Uh, the idea with the versions uh, is you do it first get, I'm not saying immediate to the point where you're not safe, but first get in your general direction of travel, right? and then figure everything out. Okay. Yeah, I just wasn't really, I, I don't know, for whatever reason, it's the first time I've ever done it. I wasn't confident with it. my, my in-flight just immediately. Good learning. Yeah. Good learning. Good learning. The right. idea, there might be some crazy weather ahead of you, or it you might be something, nice so you want to get yourself... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, or maybe you don't have enough fuel, you want to get yourself on course, as we say. Right. And then, yep. Good. Solid work. So it's uh, 4 Tango Alpha, number 2, following a sling on short final, runway 2 9 are right, clear, touch and go. Are you thinking of when you'll begin a descent? Because you had 4,500 feet of torrents is coming up yeah. in seven minutes. Okay. Is that crossing your mind? Uh, it wasn't for some reason, but now it is. Cool. A lot to think about, Colton. There is indeed. This place will be very silent when I won't be here. Yep. And it'll all be left to you. That's right. So I want to see you doing these things without me telling you. Good work. And we're going to stay above 2,000... 600, I believe, for Long Beach. Let's do a double check, Rooney. And it is 2,600. Solid work. Solid work. That's the difference between flying and driving. When you go to Costco in your car, you don't have to descend. Right. You just get there. <laughs> in a plane, sunset. you have to descend. Look at that thing. It's unbelievable. No glasses time. Unbelievable. Playing, uh, 88 Mike, turn left on Charlie. Contact round. No one Contact gets us here. That's right. That's crazy. Crazy. That's right. Absolutely fantastic. I love how at home you feel in the plane. There we go, man. Any confusion about nav logs? Uh, no, it made, that made a lot of sense. Yeah. It did? Yeah, yeah. It, it cemented it? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, totally fine. Good. Solid work. All right. Make my call just about. Hey, you could just say over Long Beach. Yep. Torrance Tower, uh, Sirius 9 or 6, 6 Tango Tango is uh, just above uh, Long Beach um, inbound for full stop with golf. There's uh, 9 6, 6 Tango Tango, Torrance Tower. Remain above uh, Long Beach's airspace and then make straight in runway 29 or right. Uh, right above Long Beach, straight in, we're right, two right, nine or six, six, tango, tango. It's uh, serious six, tango, tango. Long Beach does get a lot of jets that climb out really fast from runway 30, so use caution for that. Roger that, thank you, nine or six, six, tango, tango. So where do we need to go in order to position ourselves for a straight in, two, nine, right? Uh, to the left. Cool, uh, yeah, let's I guess, do it. I guess I was just trying to... 
All good. Listen to him. Yeah. But he always likes to mention that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Big jets. Let me stay above. Get a little extra power. Good work. So left, we're talking. Give me a heading of 190. 190. There you go. Because you said we need to go left, but we're still going straight. Right. I was I, I was just trying to get clear of the runway, I guess. I don't know. Clear of the what? It doesn't matter. I was flying over the runway now. It's all good. Actually, I just the safest right place to be when jets fly is, in the middle of the is right on top of the runway. Right. Perfect. Good, good, good. That's why special flight rules is right over the LAX runway. Right. Because no jet yet takes takes off vertically. <laughs> well, like, yeah. Like a teal. They do, but... Like a teal. They do, they do it off of uh, aircraft carriers. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> vertically. Vertically. There you go. Uh, two... Wait, two, one, zero. Good work. We go on straight on in. Uh huh. Solid work. Show me a soft field landing, and that is basically landing uh, smoothly on the main. Right keep a wheelie you until you run out of energy. Right. Easy? Yeah. Cool. And you might want to come with a little more energy, too, to have room to finesse. In. Exactly. Okay. Yep. You don't want to plop on a soft field. Right, right. Good work. 210. There's the airfield. Uh huh. Situation, situational awareness exactly. increased. Situ Mastery of the air. Uh, <laughs> situational. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely solid. Solida. Man, I think it's some of the nicest place, one of the nicest places you can fly in the world. It's beautiful. It's unbelievable. Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. 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 Okay, I'm going to start making a little bit of a descent. Uh huh. Slowing it up. Phenomenal. Six Tango Tango, number two, following a Cessna, turning at one mile base, Charlie 29 on right, clear to land, wind 260 at one four. Number two, uh, number two on right, uh, under 660. Clear to land. Clear to land. Good work. Whoopsies. Number two, clear to land is what I meant to say. If only he knew what you mean, yep. <laughs> we'd be in good shape. But he, the controllers don't yet read minds. That's true. Not yet. The FAA is working on it. Well, they're getting getting, getting robots. They're there. getting technology in place. Okay. Since we're coming in, landing checklist, lights on. We're good to go. Make sure we're on the full tank. Let's slow it up. Since we're number two, and I'll get in a little bit better position. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that sun. Red sun. Looks like Mars. Crazy how far it is from here. Oh, yeah. It's big. Unbelievable. Let's get some energy out of this. Flappies. Absolutely fantastic. Do we see the gentleman we're following? It's probably on the runway. Okay. He was a one mile base. Ah, okay, we're fine then. We are chilling. Look, the lower we go, the ball. Oh, yeah. We see less of the ball. It's pretty cool. That is cool. And it's going down and we're going down. Let's get some flaps in all the way. Let's get it ourselves straight in, like he said. And feel good. 16 knot, 
Headwind. Left crosswind. Left Which, slightly left cross yeah. crosswind. Crosswind. <laughs> it's a crosswind. Solida. Okay. We are at TPA. Let's get a little bit lower. Activated. Boom, boom, boom. I want to see how you'll handle this. Okay. Tower for 6 9 tango. It's 2 9 left, fastball. 2 9 6 tango, tango. Change to runway 2 9 or left, runway 2 9 left, clear to land. 2 9 left, clear to land, 9 or 6 6 9 tango. There you go. This is how you handle a runway change. Good. You look. Yep. Good. Solid work. Nothing to it, huh? Nope. Good work. Just changes the runway. Uh huh. Solid. Sometimes they may ask, are you able to accept an arrival? 500. Yeah, but if you're too low, too late, say unable. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> Solid work. Bopping around in the wind. Bopping. Forget the soft field. Okay. Test uh, four tangle alpha, runway two nine are right, clear, touch, go, wind two seven zero at one two. Beautiful. Absolutely phenomenal. You kissed that yeah, thing? Like kiss Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> there we go. Professional center line. Unbelievable. That's right. Unbelievable. I like doing her left. It's great. It's a little shorter, but but I get, I don't know. It's good landing. Oh, I, get some nice, I get some <laughs> nice landings right there. It's good. Uh huh. If you don't hear anything, you can just switch to ground straight away when you clear the runway. Okay. Boop. That's, no, that's not ground. What is that? All right, we are on Delta. Clear of 2-9 on left on Delta.